meteorologist Ron Rose. Well, I mean, the storms probably woke you up. If they didn't wake you up, they probably woke up your dog, and then your dog woke you up. Uh, it's kind of the way it was last night. Thunderstorms, and we did not have any confirmed tornadoes. There were uh, tornadoes, though, and tornado warnings just outside the tri-state to our west in Ledbetter, Kentucky, confirmed tornado. And then down to the south along the Kentucky-Tennessee line, right around daybreak, we had some thunderstorms kind of rumble on through and some tornado warnings as well. We had one warning here in the tri-state for Hamilton County just before 11 o'clock. We did have some damage. It was minor damage, it looks like, uh, at this point. So, But still, I mean, there were some pretty ferocious winds to go along with all the thunder and the lightning, and they were very electrical storms out there. Wind gusts peak of 54 miles an hour at the Evansville Airport. So we take a look at our superior ag camera with a superior view of downtown Evansville, and look at that beautiful blue sky. It looks a lot warmer than what it is. <laughs> if you have not stepped outside today, you're in for a shock. I mean, yesterday we topped out in the mid-60s. We topped out close to 60 on Saturday. We were in the 70s on Friday. And now, I mean, we are struggling just to get back to 40 degrees, which is where we were earlier today, and we saw the temperature slide down. Uh, and now we have no report coming out of the Evansville Airport, so you're going to see a blank uh, slate here in a second. But at the same time, you can see the traffic as it's moving nicely in and out of Vandenberg County. And you can see no report coming in from the airport, but we are seeing temperatures across much of the tri-state around 40 degrees. So we've recovered a little bit with the sunshine, as expected, kind of plateauing around 40, but really not warming much more than that. 40 in Owensboro, 40 in Santa Claus, 38 in Fairfield. Now, Fairfield had dropped down into the mid-30s, so recovering a little bit there. 39 in uh, Carmi, 38 in Princeton and 38 degrees in Henderson. Maybe a few more degrees before we start to see it slide once again. These are current wind speeds. We've got double digits out there. 15 to 25 is what I'm expecting throughout the day. It is going to slack off a little bit, though, as we head into the later part of the afternoon. But look at that. Morgan Field, 25 miles an hour. 21 in Vincennes. Yes, we've got a wind chill. Feels like 28 in Vincennes, 27 Morgan Field, 29 in Henderson, right at freezing in Owensboro. So most of us really at or below freezing as far as the wind chill is concerned. So yeah, this is a December day, which is now feeling like a December day. Didn't feel like December yesterday. Didn't feel like December last night or on Friday, but it does now. Hey, but I tell you what, on Saturday night, what a beautiful sunset we had. Brittany Taylor, our old buddy Brittany, used to work here at Eyewitness News. Uh, she lives in Newburgh. She got this wonderful sunset. I saw the sky at about the same time on my, in my part of, of Newburgh, too. And I saw about the same thing she did, but she got a better shot than I did. Great shot. Love it, Brittany. Thank you for sending that picture my way. And from Darmstadt, look at that sky on fire right there. And this is another example of the trees, you know, without the leaves for the most part. Now that it is December, and you can see through, you know, where in summertime you would have lost a lot of that sunset. It's not saying I'd rather not be in sun, uh, summer. I would rather that, but I mean, you can see more of the sunset and the sunrise. Sandy Pickett got that from Darmstadt. A couple of winners as far as the uh, sunset was concerned. If you'd missed it, that's all right. These people got it, but it was quite a sunset to see. And I, and I saw pictures from all across the tri-state. It was a really good-looking sunset for all of us. Live first morning Doppler radar. Nice to see a quiet run after all the action we had last night with those thunderstorms and those warnings. Uh, we did have a little bit of rain down to the south. That was the last time we saw some rain. Nothing shaking out there right now. These are rainfall estimates. Anything you see that is not blue or blank is more than an inch. And we had 1.28 inches, so a little over an inch and a quarter at the Evansville Airport before that gauge went down. But that was before, or right, that was before the gauge went down after the rain stopped. But check this out. We've got some heavy pockets up to the north of 64. Heaviest I could find north of the river or the Ohio was just north of Princeton, 3.3 inches of rain. The really heavy duty rain, though, was down to the south along the Western Kentucky Parkway. Check out all these red splotches. Here's one just southwest of Greenville and southwestern parts of Muhlenberg County. 5.7 inches of rain estimated there. Another dark pocket here close to the Ohio County border. 6.1, so better than a half a foot of rain there in parts of Muhlenberg County today. So, yeah, a solid soaking to say the least. Well, the rain has worked its way pretty quickly out of here. Those storms were racing across the tri-state last night, 55 miles an hour. And now it's trucking toward the Appalachians. That's their headache, even though they kind of died down a little bit. The strongest storms uh, today will be to the south, closer to the Gulf Coast. But we've seen the sky clear out pretty quickly after the rain stopped this morning. We've got plenty of sunshine out there, and that's going to be the case really throughout the rest of the day. Now, as we take a look at Future Tracker, kind of work our way through the afternoon. You can see a few clouds starting to clip in late in the day. Might make for another good looking sunset in parts of the tri-state. You got to have a few clouds out there. You need the breaks too, of course. And then as we roll uh, through the evening, just a few clouds out there. We're going to call it a partly cloudy sky though. And you can see by midnight, even a few more clouds out there. First thing tomorrow morning, most of the cloud cover to the north. We will see some breaks 
in the morning. And then we're going to be seeing the sunshine give way to clouds. And by the afternoon, we are pretty much socked in, but nothing falling from the clouds yet. Tomorrow night, a different story. Here we are at 730 after the sun goes down, of course. And we could be seeing a little bit of snow uh, cutting through parts of the tri-state. The latest run on our future tracker, though, really tapers off on the snow. But I think we might even see some minor accumulations up along US 50. And then as we kind of work our way into Wednesday, we clear out. So it's going to be Tuesday night late. While a lot of us sleep, we might see a few flakes out there. Future tracker, the snowfall for forecast kind of kicking up a few uh, snowflakes and maybe some uh, dustings out there it is December we have to expect that I guess temperatures I mean basically in the low to mid 40s is going to be as good as we're going to get from here on out the daytime high was right around daybreak right around 45 and again we might recover uh, close to 45 later on this afternoon with all the sunshine just don't expect any more than that mix of sun and clouds out there we are going to see plenty of wind still winds going to taper off some late in the day but still 15 to 25 miles an hour wind chills below freezing for most of the rest of the day all right, three-degree guarantee. Uh, called for a high Friday of 70. Got up to 71. I shortchanged it. Uh, that was 21 degrees. No, 22 degrees above the average on Friday. That was a three-degree guarantee winner. And the Ackerman Chiropractic Sock Cap winner is Randy McBrayer. Congratulations, Randy. Come on by the station and pick your sock cap up. Over the next seven days, temperatures dropping down into the mid-20s tonight after today's chill. And look at that. A high of only 36 on Tuesday. Not a lot of sunshine, although we will see some in the morning. And then we clear out on Wednesday after a few flakes of snow Tuesday night. Temperatures do warm back up into the 50s and 60s, Andy, Angie, but we're seeing uh, a good chance of rain Friday and into Saturday. And get this, we see another temperature drop on Sunday. So Saturday night, early it's Sunday morning, coaster. maybe a few more flakes of snow out there. It's a roller coaster. It's what it, it is. <clears throat> Look Check at that. This I love this shot. This is from Jawashia Day. And I just Beautiful. love that tree, that, that cool looking tree without its leaves, but still look at all those intricate branches. And then you see like Perfect. that sunset just got almost shooting through the tree right there. That's an awesome shot from Dubois County. Jawashia got that shot. Thank you so much we'll for sending that picture. Fractals in the sun. Is that what Fractals <laughs> at the sunset. I like it. Don't I like you? It. We'll be back with our film critic, Jim Hunter.